Ew, duckies. Andy Lippier. I've got natural hair. I'm getting a haircut. It's my wedding in a few days, all right? Just chill. Just chill. So, today, brand new plugin. It literally dropped today. I've been testing it for, for a day or two. Excel have sent it over. Check this out. This is a brief overview of what we're going to be looking at today. See this, my OBS, where you can see I've got my current preview window there, but I have also two separate windows open at the same time. These are not just windows. These are fully interactable, and these are sources inside of OBS. Look, I'm using a browser source right now that I can navigate and set up before I transition to that scene as you can see just here i'm con completely controlling this browser source just from using this little dock i can control the volume levels of each one and i can also control media sources pause them get them to restart change the media volume as well so before i transition to a scene i can get everything set up just right this will help streamline your content and make it look just so much more sleeker like no need for showing your entire desktop if you don't want to just show a dedicated web page make it look beautiful let's get on with it put your rock in the stone let's get on with the video Right, so we're going to need to download and install this and you can probably guess already who the creator of this plugin is. Yes, that is correct. It is the one and only Exceldro. So this is Source Doc, and I'm not going to lie, things might change a little bit from when you see this video because I've already fed back quite a few things that potentially might look at a release later on. So it's going to work exactly the same, but all the menus potentially could be a little bit different, but all the features are exactly the same. If anything, he might add a few features to make it easier for you guys. So this is the plugin just here it's called source doc you need to head on over to the download button which is just in the top right hand corner just give that a cheeky little click and you get four different versions obviously because uh excel is the man he he sorts out mac he also sorts out linux and we've also got windows so we've got windows installer which i always recommend downloading and doing that one because you just run through the the next 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 day uh, steps and everything like that or if you're like me and got like a million versions of obs and stuff like that on your computer you can actually download the zip file as well uh, just here so i'm going to download the zip file for this example if you are using the installer like i say just open it press next 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 and it'll automatically get done for you so we just need to open up the installer um or the the files here and if you are doing the zip method we're just going to copy these two folders just here and then navigate to where your OBS is. It's usually in the C drive and then in program files or program files H6 and then in OBS studio. And you just paste them directly into that folder. Mine's going to ask me if I want to replace them because I've already got it all installed. Do make sure that you have short OBS before you install or just make sure you restart it. Um, otherwise, it's not going to take into effect. But because I've already got mine installed, I can open up OBS freely. So if we jump into OBS right now, look, I've got two open. It's so confusing. Uh, I've got a blank OBS. It doesn't matter about it being blank or anything, but you can tell you've got it installed correctly. If you jump up to tools, you should see source doc as an option just here and it will display all the different sources here like i say this menu might be different upon uh because excel is pretty quick at the updates like i try and do a video for him but then he updates it and makes it better so it might be a little bit easier because if i show you mine and you've got a lot of scenes it goes crazy and fills the screen and it's a little bit hard to navigate so he's going to make it a little bit easier for you guys so this is how it works let's create a browser source shall we so i'm going to show you a browser source just here I'll just call it browser for now, press OK. And the website I'm going to use, the only website you guys need to favorite is streamup, oops, dot tips. You need to get that favorited. I'm going to do 1920 by 1080, just like so. I'm going to change some of this stuff here to, to make it work correctly, like that. Press OK. And now we've got our browser source just here. And you guys know you can use a browser source and interact with it by right-clicking, pressing interact. It brings it up in this little window, which you can control, which is really, really useful. But Excel has gone above and beyond with this plugin. If we go to tools now, go down to source doc, a new scene will have appeared or in the new menu that you've got there. You can press the, the uh, source that we've just added. So that's browser. And it brings up this little box in the middle of the screen just here. 
this box just acts like a standard docked window, you know, like you've got your stream chat in OBS uh, and other things that you've got in here, like your mixer. So you can drag it down into these bars. So you can put it anywhere you want, resize it if you want to, which is completely fine to do, uh, to get a bigger thing and as soon as i start interacting with this you can see it's updating on the actual uh output as well so anything that i'm doing in this little preview window is actually being changed above super simple to use this plugin we can control audio levels as well so if you've got an audio level you can uh, control it down and you're probably asking cool that's that that's an awesome tool already the fact that i can just kind of control my, my my source directly um without having to put another window up and stuff like that it's just inside of obs so uh, but you can actually do this when another scene is up so you're displaying another scene for example uh this time i'm going to put in a media source and just throw a random video in here i'm going to turn off restart playback and and show nothing as well and get it to loop so i'm going to select a video that's in one one of these things just here uh, i've got i've got so many videos my organization is awful but really cool at the same time and if i press ok just here you'll see this is the the stream that we're going to be streaming uh, but i can still control this browser source so it means that i can change to, to different web pages and stuff like that which is really nice i have fed back some different tools like an easy way to uh, get to the scene property uh, well the source properties so you can change website if you wanted to uh, and and different things like that which is really useful like I say you can reposition this to anywhere you want and you can put as many as you want down so we've created this media source so let's go up to tools again and we'll go down to source doc and we'll see the media sources there as well also the scenes that we create are there so you can keep uh, monitoring on a particular scene if you want to make sure that it's um, working correctly before you transition rather than using studio mode and jumping across so if i open media source uh, you can see the little box is here again in the middle. I'm just going to click and drag it down to my bars at the bottom so it docks it inside of OBS. And you can see I've actually got control over the media as well. I could pause the video if I want to, play it, restart it from the beginning, uh, do next sources if it's like a VLC source or something like that. So if you've got a playlist of things, you can make sure the play playlist is about to play from the correct spot before you change scene. So you're not going to have any issues anymore of, oh, am I on the right thing as I'm transitioning and everything like that. You can keep an eye out on absolutely everything that's going on on screen. I mean, you probably see my CPU is quite high at the moment because I'm doing multiple things at once. I'm recording twice. And to be honest, this video is not compressed at all because i am a dum dum okay that when i normally go live it uses about 50 percent of my cpu lol um so we can control the audio levels as you can see uh, as i'm moving this bar you can see it's moving it down in the mixer here so that is the output and everything like that so i could turn it right down if i need to um and and that is going to turn that down so if i on a different scene i can still control all of this as you can see i can mute it like i've done there skim through the video if i need to to make sure it's in the correct place so i can control the the browser source you kind of seeing what we can do with this and it just makes it super useful for when you want to create a clean stream and have multiple things going on at once and rather than having loads of different windows you can kind of keep tabs all in one place i have asked for a few features to be added as well so like the menu hopefully that will be a little bit different he's going to be making it a little bit like the the uh, tran transition table plugin, I believe. So if we look at the transition table, your menu might look something like this. And he's had the idea that potentially you can choose what elements you want on the dock. So if you didn't want the media source options, you can turn that off and stuff like that. Don't hold me to that, that might happen, but he's gonna make it a lot easier with drop down menus and the fact that you can search for things rather than typing it in. Because if you've got a lot of different sources, it can look quite complicated and get a little bit out of hand. If I open up my uh, main OBS, and bring this into shot, you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So if I bring main OBS in and go to source doc, yeah. Yeah. So I fed that back because that, that needs changing. But other than that, 
you know what Excel Drive is like. He's going to keep updating the plugin, add more and more features. So if you guys have got any requests, make sure you do feed it back to him. And obviously, leave Excel Drive a rating on the the uh, OBS plugin page. Your boy's already done it. I'm always always first in there to drop a, a cheeky little uh, review. Honestly, this is huge. This one is going to streamline so much of your content. Again, any feature requests, let him know. Any bugs, let him know. He's very on it. He's probably the most active OBS dev person or other you know what i'm saying but anyway that's the end of it if you've got any questions let me know in the comments below if there's anything you want me to cover or anything like that then let me know as well and if you want to support the channel then consider being a channel member here on youtube or joining on patreon it will help support me try and do this content full time uh, as i try and do everything for free for you guys as well and that's pretty much it put your rock over the stone guys and i'll see you in the next vid bye I just want to say a huge thanks to all my patrons that help make this content full time, make it free for you guys. And also a huge thanks to all my YouTube members. You, you guys are legends. Thank you so much for everything that you do for me and the community. Keep it up, guys.